Have you ever had an issue when working in Windows Forms where the form designer wouldn't even load? You get this blue, yellow, and white error message that says error CS0103, whatever that means. This error is a rather common one to experience when you first start out. Thankfully, it's also a very easy one to fix. Now, for most of my training, I worked with you an in-depth perspective on technology, but sometimes you just need a quick overview of a topic. That's why I created this 10-minute training series. Be sure to check out the playlist with the other 10-minute training videos. So let's look at this error. This error happens quite a bit when you first start off, and I'll show you how it happens afterwards, but let's first address how to fix this. So if you notice, if I double click on form one, I would expect a form designer, but I get this error instead. What's the problem? Well, the problem is that we have created an event, but we've deleted the event code. So let me show you how to resolve this first, and then we'll show you what happened that caused this. So if we expand out the form one, you'll see we have form one dot designer dot CS and form one dot resix. So we want the form one dot designer dot CS. And this is the other half of your Windows form backend. So if you right click on form one and say view code, you don't get this code, you get this code. This is what you would think of as the code behind for your form. But notice it says public partial class form one. Well, where's the other partial? It's in form1.designer.cs. So this is form1.designer.cs. And what this is, is when you drag and drop things on the form, well, it creates on that form your, your buttons, your text boxes, and so on. But really what it does is it creates C-sharp code. And that code tells Visual Studio where to put the buttons and the text boxes and so on. And that's generated code code that Microsoft, the tooling creates for you. So if you scroll down here, notice there's this region here, we gotta love regions, but it says Windows Form Designer generated code. And if you expand this region out, you'll notice the first thing it says is do not modify. And the reason why is because, well, this is generated by the designer and it could be changed when you change, you know, when you drag things around, but Yes, you can modify this. You could, in theory, write this by hand as well. But let's scroll down here. And if we do, just kind of browse through it, you'll notice we have a red squiggly. So we have load plus equals. That means we're going to add a um, event method to an event. So we're adding the form one load event method to this load event handler. Well. Where is form one underscore load? Well, it doesn't exist in the current context. The solution for the designer problem, the solution for this problem is to find this line of the reds quickly. It'll be an event handler line and delete it. Okay, we hit save. We come back to our form, we'll wait a second, or we can just reopen it. So reopen your form and your form is back. So we've solved the problem we no longer have that error. But how did that error occur? Well, normally when you want to create, let's say a, a method on this button, or I'm sorry, event on this button, we just double click the button and it creates the event code. Now I already have event code on this button, the button one underscore click. Yes, I didn't rename anything in this project. It's form one, button one, text box one, and so on. But sometimes we click on the wrong thing. So we come over here and we accidentally click on, let's say the, the form itself. And you go, oh, I, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to do it on the button. So you delete this code, but that's where you have the error. Watch if I delete this code and I come back over to the form, it's broken. Well, I can undo that if I still have this open, I can control Z and bring it back and the form will come back. Sometimes it, you know, again, takes a restart to come back, um, but it works again. Well, why? Because it needs this method. This method, notice f load plus equal form one underscore load. Well, that's right here, form one underscore load. This is how these two partial classes combine into one class. So the code in the designer portion 
is saying, I expect a method form one underscore load, but I'm going to expect it to be in form one dot CS, which is here. But if you delete this code, you have to also delete this code. Now you could go in here manually and delete this code. Or what you can do is on the form itself, you can go to properties and look for events. That's this lightning bolt here. And then in here, you'll notice that we have form one underscore load as our event for the form one. Well, we can just delete this. Okay, now we no longer have that call. Notice we come over here to the designer. That call is gone. That, that assignment is gone. Now, it's also gone in your code behind on form1.cs. That's not always the case. That method may still be there, and you, at that point, could delete it safely because you don't have it called here in your uh, designer code. Okay, so that's where the error comes from. You create an event by double-clicking something. Usually, this is how it happens. You double-click something, and you went, oops, I didn't want to do that. I want to do something else, and you decide to clean up your code, which is a good thing. But when you deleted that bit of code, you actually deleted something that was in use, even though you didn't set anything up. It was set up by the designer. So that's how to fix the problem where you get that, that error, that CS0103 error. And what it's saying is, hey, I'm expecting to have a method to call, and I can't find that method. So this is how to solve it so your designer can come back. Please remember, in Windows Form, even though we have a drag and drop designer, really all it is is just a bunch of C-sharp code. The designer is just a, a nice way of setting up the C-sharp code for you so you don't have to remember how to do this and how to think through where everything goes and so on. You can just drag things on a surface and they appear in this code. So. That's a solution for that error problem. All right. Thanks for watching. As always, I am Tim Corey.